वेलकम टू टी एन टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट परसेंटेज सेंस प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आर दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स वेल द फॉर्मुला इज रिक्वायर्ड परसेंटेज चेंज इज कस टू चेंज इन क्वांटिटी बाय ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी इनटू हंड्रेड परसेंट दिस इज द यूनिवर्सल फॉर्मुला एंड लेट्स टेक वन एग्जाम्पल थाउजेंड वाट हीटिंग यूनिट इज डिजाइन टू ऑपरेट ऑन वन ट्वेंटी वोल्ट लाइन द लाइन वोल्टेज ड्रॉप्स द लाइन वोल्टेज ड्रॉप्स टू हंड्रेड टेन वोल्ट द परसेंटेज ऑफ हीट आउटपुट ड्रॉप्स बाई well first look at heat output heat output means power is is required power is directly proportional to b square as for, as formula formula p equals to b square by r and now to find out the percentage of heat output percentage change of heat output we have to give p is equals to delta p by p into 100% delta p delta p means p1 uh, original power minus p2 by p1 into 100% now here we have voltage two voltages 110 volt and 120 volt and 1 power 1000 watt so now v1 is cos to 120 v2 is cos to 110 now we have to change power into voltage we know that p is directly proportional to v square first 1 minus p2 by p1 into 100% we can do this then p2 by p1 as p is directly proportional to v square p1 by P two is equals to B one square by B two square. P one now is equals to one minus B two square by B one square into hundred percent. B one minus B two B two square by B one square. Now putting the value of B two hundred ten. By hundred twenty, one minus hundred ten by hundred twenty into hundred percent. Eleven twelve minus eleven by, ah uh, sorry, it is square. It is square. Ah, uh, eleven eleven is a one twenty one. Twelve twelve is a one one forty four. One minus this into hundred percent. This will give you. One forty-four minus one twenty-one by one forty-four into hundred percent. So it will be three two twenty-three by one four four into hundred percent. Let's let's calculate it in calculator. If you calculate it, it will come about fifteen point nine seven. That is about sixteen percent. Well, with some calculations, twenty-three by one forty-four into hundred, you can take twenty-four by one forty-four into hundred, rounding off twenty twelve two zero twenty-four twelve twelve zero one four four two one zero two two six zero two twelve. So six will be dividing hundred and six one zero six six one zero six seven eight nine ten four. Forty six point zero zero point thirteen six point zero zero six zero thirty six thirty six point something. So it it will be near to sixteen. So the answer is sixteen. So now let's move on to other problems. So now we will be discussing on percentage change problems. When percentage change is given in question, well, this the question is of two types. One is under ten percent. And other is over ten percent. Under ten percent means we have to multiply by power. Then we will get answer. Percentage change multiply by power. Percentage change in question into power. And then for over hundred we have the formula. Hundred plus minus percentage change given in question by Hundred to the power 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 given power minus one into hundred percent. Well, this 
seems a bit mess but uh, when you are using it in problems it will get quite easier so let's start with problems so now here are two questions one is under 10 percent another is over 10 percent so let's start with first question if copper wire is stretched to make it 0.1 percent longer the percentage change of resistance will be one is resistance one is the value and another is the length so resistance and length we, first you have to know the relation well the relation of resistance and length is r is directly proportional to l square so now as i i had told you earlier the required answer will be power into given percentage change so so the required r will be 0 0.1 into 2 it will be 0 0.2 percent this is the answer if it is under 10 percent now talking about over 10 percent voltage on expression voltage is increased by 50 percent find the percentage change in power 1 2 3 4 so voltage is increased by 50 percent then we have to find the power change in power first we have to find the relation between voltage and power we know that p is equals to b square by r so p is directly proportional to b now using it in formula 100 let's record the formula 100 plus minus given in question value of question by 100 power minus 1 into 100 percent this is the required formula and I will be showing you uh, putting it here so first 100 so it is increased so it will be plus plus question value 50 by 100 into power power means this here also power 100 plus 50 100 plus question value 50 by 100 into power power is 2 then minus 1 into 100 percent if you solve it it will be 150 by 10 means uh, means 15 by 10 whole square minus 1 into 100 percent Five to the ten, five three fifteen, three square nine by four minus one into hundred percent into hundred percent. So we have now nine by four minus four into hundred percent. It will be 9 minus 5, 5 into 4, 25 is 100, 25. It will be 125. 25 is 125. So the required answer is. Well, it seems a bit messy, but uh, if you if you are able to put the values in the formula, you will easily get the required answer. Keep tuned for more videos. Thank you.